Some 20 years after their first appearance in the skies, fifth-generation fighters remain both the most advanced and rarest aircraft in service. Only four models from three countries, the U.S. at F-22 and F-35, China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57, have been officially introduced. But many other countries are determined to have their own next-generation models. At least nine countries are already developing sixth-generation aircraft, either on their own or in cooperation with other countries. Little is known about these programs, but the scale of the work being done shows that many countries expect sixth-gen jets to be a vital part of their fleets in the decades ahead. Fifth and sixth generation. Exactly what makes an aircraft fifth generation or sixth generation is subject to debate. Generally speaking, fifth generation refers to aircraft that began development in the late 1990s or early 2000s, have a completely new design compared to fourth gen jets, and emphasize low observable or stealth features. Sixth generation characteristics are less defined as no sixth gen aircraft exist yet. The recently unveiled B-21 bomber is billed as the world's first sixth gen aircraft, but little is known about its capabilities. There is a general consensus that sixth gen jets will have a number of new or advanced features, including a modular design that allows for seamless upgrades, comprehensive networking capability, the ability to work with drones, and of course, stealth. Producing aircraft with fifth-gen features requires advanced technological know-how, an advanced industrial base, and most importantly, massive financial investment. Developing and procuring the F-35, for example, is estimated to have cost as much as $412 billion, which doesn't include operations and maintenance costs. Consequently, most countries are sticking with fourth-gen models, buying fifth-gen jets from a country that has already developed them, or, in the case of the F-35, contributing to the program without taking a larger role in development and manufacturing. As with fifth-gen jets, developing sixth-gen aircraft will require major investment, so many countries have teamed up to share the costs and reduce development time. NGAD and S slash AXX. The U.S. has two sixth gen projects underway, one for the Air Force and one for the Navy. Both are officially referred to as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD. But the Navy's aircraft is often called the F slash AXX. The NGAD projects are top secret, and little is known about them not even which contractor will build them or what they will look like. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing are believed to be competing to build the jets, and all have released illustrations of sixth-gen aircraft. What is known is that NGAD will be more than a new fighter jet. It will be a family of systems meant to ensure U.S. air dominance, the Air Force has acknowledged developing four technologies for the program, including variable cycle engines, new composite materials, and a new suite of sensors, including advanced radar, infrared sensors, and improved electro-optical cameras. NGAD also includes unmanned aircraft being designed to complement the 6th Gen fighter. Dumped collaborative combat aircraft, the drones will be networked to the fighter and can be assigned missions, allowing the jet to deploy them while it engages other targets using new long-range weapons like the AIM-260. The S-AXX will have similar features, including the ability to network with unmanned systems, which fits into the Navy's goal of having 60% of its future carrier air wings be unmanned aircraft. The Air Force said in 2020 that it had built and flown a full-scale NGAD prototype, though service officials say the program is still in its design phase. The Navy is believed to be in the concept refinement phase for S-AXX. The Air Force hopes to have NGAD in service by 2030, while the Navy hopes to have the S-AXX in service within the same decade. 
FCA slash SCAF. The Future Combat Air System is a sixth gen jet project announced by France and Germany in 2017 and joined by Spain in 2019. SCS also intends to develop a family of systems for air dominance with a sixth generation fighter known as the Next Generation Fighter, NGF, at its center. The NGF will have a new engine, new weapon systems, advanced sensors and stealth technology, and the ability to link with unmanned aircraft and connect to an air combat cloud network. The jet is meant to replace France's Rafales and the Eurofighter Typhoons flown by Germany and Spain. There are also plans for a carrier-based variant for use on France's future aircraft carrier. With an estimated cost of about $106 billion, FCAS is one of the largest joint European weapons programs ever. FCAS is partly meant to give Europeans a European-made option for high-end stealth aircraft, especially in light of the increase in F-35 purchases by European countries. But it faces headwinds. The first NGF flight was expected in 2027, with manufacturing starting in 2030 and full introduction in 2040. But disputes between the three contractors over workload and prime contractor status kept the project from moving to its next phase for two years. The four companies appear to have resolved those issues, however. On December 16, they announced the signing of a $3.4 billion contract, enabling them to proceed, with plans for initial demonstration flights by 2029.